Hello students, welcome to Embed System Laboratory. Subject code is 18 ECL 66. Today we are going to discuss uh, part experiment. Title of the experiment is assembly language program to write data to RAM location. Myself, Arvindar, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, G plus IETW, Mysuru. Aim of our experiment is to write data to RAM location and we are using assembly language programming for it. The objective is to learn assembly language programming of LPC1768 kit and to efficiently use load and store instructions. So these are the two objectives to achieve the aim. So what materials we are using? So the software we are using here is Keel Microvision 4. First, we shall learn the algorithm. First, we are going to start the program and we are going to initialize the data as 0x123456678. So this is the data we are going to initialize. So this data first we will load into R0 register and we will take another R1 register and to that R1 register, we are going to load the address of the destination location. That is RAM location we are going to add the add to the R1 register. Next, we need to write the contents of R0 into RAM location. Next, whatever the data we have written to RAM location, we have to find out whether that uh, data is stored into the prescribed RAM location and end the program. So this is the simple algorithm and very easy. Now we shall see the program, okay? So here, first step is area data transfer comma code comma read only so area represents what area we are using data transfer is the file name instead of data transfer you can give any file name no problem and we are using code memory and it is read only and export underscore underscore main so this is a step that will transfer to the main program so here underscore underscore main is the label okay so under this label we have written the main program instructions and first here, uh, we are using data DCD 0x123456678. So what this step actually represents? So this step represents that we are initializing the data. Define DCD stands for define constant data. We are defining the constant data as 1234567. So this is the data we are defining. Next coming to underscore underscore main, that's the main program. So below this, whatever the instructions we write, that's the main program. First step is, as I told, we are going to load the data to R0 register. That means it will be loaded with 0, X, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this data is loaded to are not register. Next, we are going to load to R1 register. We are going to load the RAM location. Okay. So RAM location will be loaded to R1 register. Okay. See here you can see RAM LOC. So RAM LOC is a label. Okay. See here, this is the label again. So, and it is RAM location DCD zero. That is whatever the RAM location that we are going to load to the R1 register that will be done here. Next, store R0 comma R1. That is, we are going to write the contents of R0 to the location of the RAM. The location of the RAM is already loaded to R1 register. So to that location, we are going to store the contents of R0 to R1. Okay, next area that is we are using RAM area and what we are using, we are storing the data and it is a read write operation. Okay, and finally end the program. So this is a simple program and after understanding this algorithm and program, now we shall see the execution steps. Open Microvision Keel software. The very first step is go to project, click on new Microvision project. So in the desktop, I will create one 
new folder to save the project. So I will take it as So I have renamed the, yeah. So in this folder, I will save the project with the name RAM. Save it. Next, select LPC1768. That is our target kit. Okay, you can type the target kit here, LPC1768. Okay, select this, click on OK. And here you need to copy the startup file. So click on yes. So here you can see in the project window, the source group is created under that startup underscore LPC 17XX.S is added. So now we have to write the program. So for that, go to file, click on new. So I've already written the code. So I've taken it. So go to file now and click on save as you need to save this file in the same folder where you have saved the project so i will give the name as ram dot s under make sure that you give this dot s extension that represents it is a source file that represents it's a assembly language program click on yes so the code is ready now you need to add this code to the source group. Right click on the source group, click on add existing files to group. So it will come back to your folder where you have saved the project. And here you need to change the file type as source file. Click on this, you can see ram.s. Click on it, add and close. See ram.s is added to source group now. Now you can save the program. Next step is to transfer the program. So before that, you have to perform small modifications in the startup underscore LPC 17XX.S file. So double click on this. So the file will be open. It's, it's, it's a startup file, okay? So here you need to comment few lines which are not using in our program. Line number 127, 129, 130. After this, and uh, line number 272 and 273. If you put a semicolon in front of that particular uh, instruction, that instruction will be converted to, the will be converted as a comment. So we are making comment line number 127, 129, 130, 272, 273. So save. So after making changes in the startup file, go to project perform translate. Okay. So the code is correct and we have zero errors and zero warnings. So after uh, translating, go, go to target one, right click on this options for target. Okay, so here go to output, click on this create X file and click okay. Next, go to project, click on build target. So it will create the hex file. Zero errors and zero warnings. Now we have built the target successfully. Now you have to check the contents of the register. So for that, go to debug, start debug session, click on it. Yeah, you can see the uh, register contents at the leftmost side and your program also. You have to perform step-by-step -step operation here. So if you execute step-by-step, -step, then it is very easy to understand how exactly the contents will be updated in the registers, okay? So here you have step, click on this, step one. So it will show the program, yeah, the main program here, LDR R0 comma data. That is, we are going to add, load the, data to R0 register. Again, click on step-by-step. Step. See here, you can see in the leftmost side, R0 register is updated with 0x1234567 So this is the data we have 
declared here. Okay. Next, click on step. Okay. See the R1 register is updated with the RAM location. That is the first location of the RAM is updated here. Next, again, click on it. It is completed. Now we have to check whether 0x123456678 is updated in the RAM location. So for that, click on this memory here. Okay, see here by default after executing, it will show you the same location 0x10000. Okay, 10x1 followed by 70. That's the location of the RAM. In that location, we have successfully written the data 12345678 successfully. So this is the execution steps you need to follow. And this is how we need to check the results. First, you need to check the results in the registers. After that, you have to check whether the data is present in the RAM location. So in the memory. So this is the execution steps and the results. Results and discussions. So here, R0, R0 register is updated with 0x1234567 data. So this is the data we have defined. So this data is updated in the R0 register. And R1 register is updated with the RAM location 0x1 followed by 70. So here you can see the snapshot of the registers updated. Next, you have to check the contents in the RAM location so that you can find in the memory. So this is the results and discussion. Next conclusion. Finally, we can conclude the program as we have written the assembly language program to write the data into RAM location for LPC1768 microcontroller. And it is successfully compiled in the Keel software. After compiling, we have built the target and we have checked the appropriate registers and the memory location. The same code can be run for different test cases. That is, you can give any other different data and you can check the contents of the RAM location with the same program. Thank you.